It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers, and I'm back with a new video. Y'all know what's going on. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a time that I was told to never make music again. Never make music again. This was about it's what 2021. This was either in 20. I think it was in 2016, 2017. Is it 2016, 2017? So, what's that? Roughly about uh, four or five years ago. You know what I mean? About four or five years ago. And, uh, yeah, so, in 2016, I dropped a project called By Any Means Necessary. And um, it was really just like on some uh, trendy... It's more like a, a trendy project so like um i was just trying to make songs that kind of fit the times and not really focusing on like um being too lyrical or you know even though i'm always gonna do me you know but yeah so i had this one song called juice you know and at that time when i dropped that song a lot of people liked that song man a lot of people liked that song Alright, so I'm on Facebook one day and um you know how they do like the little the little review shows, you know. And so it was a little review show that popped up. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go in here, you know, I'm gonna submit a song, you know. And at that time everybody liked the song Juice. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna uh, submit Juice and uh you know, everybody said they like it, so hopefully they like it. And um while I'm in there, I'm waiting for my song to be played, you know, I'm listening to the other artists that they playing, you know, I'm giving feedback, you know, I'm, I'm kind of excited, I'm anxious to, you know, for when they play my music or what's gonna happen or reaction I'm gonna get. But I also noticed while I was in there, uh, the community was kind of like tight knit, like most of the artists in there knew each other, the hosts knew the artists, and um, yeah, so. It kind of, you know, when I think about it now, it, I was, I set myself up for failure, bro, like right off the bat, because most of the people in there already knew each other, they, um, I guess they tune into that particular show, like weekly or however often they was doing it, and um, yeah, I was the new guy that just jumped in, and I just wanted my music played, I just wanted some feedback, and yeah, alright, so, you know, they playing all the music, and I think, uh, to submit your song, I think it ended up being like five dollars, and then the song that was the best song, you would get like um, I don't think you got all of the money, but you got like a, a good chunk of the change, and then the people who did the show got like they little cut from it or whatever. But it was only five dollars, bro. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't stressing it. I wasn't sweating it. I just really wanted to get my music in front of some new people that you know that I don't know and kind of see what they think. But this was a pivotal moment for me because it could have, if I let it, um, you know, get to me a little too much, it could have been the, it could have been the beginning of the end, if you know what I mean. But this was like, like I said, four or five years ago, as you can see, I'm still making music, making some of the best music I've ever made. And um, yeah. But, you know, like I said, I'm in there, I'm watching, I'm listening to all the people's songs. And to be honest, a lot of the people's music wasn't even that good. But, you know, that's just my opinion. So, you know, like I said, like I said in a couple videos ago, you know what I mean? Like, my opinion or someone's opinion of you shouldn't really matter. You know what I mean? It, it shouldn't hold too much weight. You know what I mean? So, like I said, a lot of the music that was being played, I felt like, you know, I make better music than that. But... You know, when it came to my turn, you know, they turned it on, a song was coming on, and then instantly one of the hosts was like, he just like made a face like, nah. I'm like, what? The other dude was like, um, he just made a face too, and he's just looking. And then like, like I said, most of these people already knew each other, right? So I'm the new guy, you know? And then the comment section, like a lot of the other artists, the whole time they were playing their music though, you know, I'm giving people props and stuff. I'm showing respect. I'm not, you know, boom. 
But when my music get played, no one knows who I am. I'm the new guy. They start like, yo, what is this? Who is this? You know, like, nah, y'all need to turn this off. Da, 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 da. So the comment section really was just like bashing me, bro. Like the whole time my song was being played. And like everybody else, they played the whole song. Bro, they ain't even play my whole song, bro. I think I got the song started with like the hook, I think. And then like by the time we got to the verse, the dudes who were doing the show, they was like, nah, man. I'm like, they was like, nah, bro. This ain't it. They was like, you don't even, you you shouldn't even make music. Da, da, da. They start going in. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Like, they didn't even give my song a chance, bro. Like, you know, basically all the other artists start like, nah. And I, I kind of get it. It kind of was like a technique, kind of like a strategy. You feel me? Because, like, we all competing for this money, you know. And, I mean, I'm the only artist in there that y'all don't know, you know. So, y'all don't really want the random dude to come in here and win the money so it's like they all was working together like you know we gotta get this nigga out of here like they was really on some i don't mind if one of y'all win because i know y'all but the nigga we don't know he's definitely not winning and uh i kind of can respect it but um that was a tough time for me though bro like i ain't gonna lie bro it was 20 like i said 2016 2017 so i was like i was like 18 or 19 at the time you know what I mean? Fresh out of high school, working, boom, boom, making my music. You know, trying to figure life out. You know what I mean? And music was was and still is, and it always has been something I was super passionate about. And it was the first time ever that people told me I was trash. Like, they was like, no, you shouldn't make music. I don't know why you make music. This is garbage, da 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 blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn. But, like, I know real lyrical people i know real rap legends you know what i mean who heard my music and, and and fuck with me you feel me so like it's crazy so like for a second i'm sitting there and i'm kind of like letting it get to me and then i just had to realize like get the fuck out of here like like i ain't no way i could let these whack-ass motherfuckers tell me that i shouldn't make music when i rap better than all the motherfuckers to this day, I don't even remember none of the artists' names. I don't remember none of the songs because the shit wasn't that good. You know what I mean? The shit wasn't that good, but they all ganged up on me. And it, like I said, it was a pivotal moment, though, because it was either at that moment, it was like, do I, do I quit or do I go harder? And obviously, I see where I'm sitting at right now. Just put out an album. Album did great. Obviously, I went harder. And I guarantee I rap better and I make better music than all them niggas that was in that little show or whatever. You know what's crazy? I never even seen that show again after that point. You know what I mean? I never even seen that show. You know? It was on Facebook. It was like a little Facebook live type joint. But I never seen that show again. But I just always remembered that. And it like, it fueled me, bro. It fueled my drive. It's just like... They really came for me, bro. Like, they really told me I was trash. I shouldn't make music. I should stop making music. That's, back then, that was the first project that I, I produced, you know, mixed and mastered all by myself. I made all the beats. I wrote all the lyrics. I recorded all the songs. I mixed and mastered. That was the first project that I ever got busy with. And it's still, it's still up right now. Y'all could go to Apple Music and uh, type in King Buzz, Binding Me is Necessary. Listen to the first one. The second one, the second one came out years later. But the first one is what I'm talking about. And you can hear the song Juice. That's the song I was talking about. But they really like bashed me, bro. And it was like crazy. Like I was in my feelings, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. These niggas really just came for me. You feel me? But at the end of the day, like I'm, like I'm, like I said, bro, it fueled me. You know, I told my homies about it, and they just like, man, fuck that. And like I said, bro, like, everybody, you know, at that time, niggas love that song, bro. Like, I posted that song on my Instagram, niggas hit me up like, nah, this shit fire. I, you know, I played it for, like, co-workers at work. Next thing you know, them niggas was, you know, I had one co-worker, that nigga bumped that shit every morning. Like, he loved that song, you know what I mean? So this is another reason why I tell you, like, don't take, like, people's opinions of, like, things you do or certain songs too serious like don't take it to the heart because just because they don't like it don't mean somebody else don't you know what i mean like niggas love that song bro people was trying to get me to shoot music videos to that song 
everything. People love that song, but on that one particular day, I jump in that live, you know, try to, you know, really, really was trying to, like I said, get my music in front of new people, potentially gain new fans, but they wasn't having it. They completely just like bashed me, and it was wild. Like I, I like I said, I feel some type of way, but I ain't let it like kill me. I ain't let it kill my hopes and my dreams. And like, I always knew I could really rap. So like, you know, maybe, you know, back then, like I said, I was just getting started producing and mixing and mastering. So, you know, obviously the music didn't sound the best, you know, and instead of, you know, being, you know, a critic, they really just like bash me. It's different when you be like, nah, bro, like, I don't, I don't like it. You should like, you know, you know, maybe get somebody else to mix it and master it. Or, you know, maybe you should do this different. There was no, like, feedback. It was just like, nigga, this is whack. Why did you submit this? Don't ever make music again. Just hang it up quick. You know what I mean? And me personally, y'all know me. I never do that. I don't do that to anyone. I don't never tell no one, like, bro, don't ever make music again. Because that's not my position. That is not my job to tell you what you should do who am i you know what i mean so i like i said i had to realize that i'm like who the fuck are they to tell me i should never make music again i wish i knew who they were and i wish i could like play y'all some of their more recent songs and compare them to mine because i guarantee none of them niggas make better music than me and i guarantee it i guarantee it i've worked on my craft day in and day out for years for years like i just said in the, the last video i don't know if this one gonna come out before that one but i've been writing music for 15 years and i've been recording and releasing music for the past 10. i'm 15 years into this you know what i mean it's different it's different i really put in the time you know what i mean I really put in the time. But yeah, that was the time. They really told me I was trash. They told me to stop rapping. Imagine if I had to stop rapping, bro. Y'all y'all wouldn't have me here right now giving y'all like tutorials on mixed craft and selling y'all presets and you know, just giving y'all advice on how to be a better engineer or rapper or you know, if I'd have let that slow me down or stop me, I wouldn't be here today. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have, you know, almost gone. We about to hit 3K soon. I wouldn't have almost 3K subscribers on YouTube. I wouldn't have, you know, the connections with people in different countries, you know, who rock with me for who I am. Like, I'm just me. I'm just me. Every day, all day. I'm not faking it. I don't have, I don't be somebody else. I'm literally me. I got a following for being me. And I love it. I wouldn't have it no other way. It's like, yeah, I could be growing way faster doing other shit that brings in more views like pranks and, you know, stuff like that, which I do like to do stuff like that from time to time. Like, we might throw a prank in there, you know, on the other channel. We might throw a prank. But our pranks are legit. Like, we really like pranking niggas. It ain't like, no, stage shit just to get views. We, we legit. We authentic with ours. You feel me? We ain't faking nothing. I ain't faking nothing. You know what I mean? But like I said, I could be doing that type of stuff because that brings in, you know, more viewers. It brings in more uh, money, more, you know. There's a lot of kids on YouTube and stuff. And if you make content for kids, you know, it's a great chance that you grow way faster than the average person. You feel me? So I'm growing at a steady rate, so I'm not complaining. Like I said, I wouldn't have it no other way. I'm getting paid to do these videos, and I'm just being myself. I just turn it camera on I um, show y'all how I do stuff and that's literally all I do I show y'all how I do stuff or I give y'all advice on what I think about stuff and another thing is like I don't like when people get mad at me for how I feel about something like I'm entitled to feel however way I feel about anything you know what I mean so like one of my most popular videos is a United Masters video and I explain in the video like why I don't use a United Masters like okay I've 
uh, I've tried it, you know, I signed up, boom, 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 but I came across this person, that person who had bad experiences and, you know, this right here. And then when you upload, you don't have many options. So I kind of don't like that. And I just gave, you know, my reasons why I don't use it. And then, you know, you have people like, oh, he, he, he's just listening to other people or he doesn't da, 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 or but uh, like you made a video but you ain't really make any points uh, da, da, da. like nigga the video is my opinion how you gonna tell me how to feel you know i just don't get that like i don't get that i'm not a hater bro i'm not a hater at on um, any level like you know the dislike button on youtube i don't even use that shit if i come across a video that i don't like i just leave the video and go watch another video I don't dislike, I don't comment to let you know how much I don't like the video. What is the point? That's just letting me know how desperate you are or how fucking miserable you are. You know, like, first of all, I don't know you. So, even you leaving like a negative comment, which I don't get many negative comments anymore. This was kind of like, you know, maybe a year ago, you know. Most of uh, the role running community is very positive and we have you know real conversations and even if we disagree we just we can we know how to be adults you know what i mean we're not no fucking kids um you know what i mean but yeah like i said like i used to get comments and you know people just kind of like try to bash me for my opinion and it's like i'm allowed to feel however the fuck i want to feel and you can't change it you know what i mean like i'm not out here trying to convince you to do anything or be anything or nothing like that like even with tutorials and stuff i'm showing you how i do it if you find another way that works better for you that's cool but this is the way i do it how you gonna be mad because i do it this way and you was taught to do it another way well the same person that taught you didn't teach me you know there's more than one way to skin a cat i know you've heard that before right so yeah i just don't be understanding why y'all feel like y'all gotta like go out of your way to let somebody know how you feel like i don't know you i don't care how you feel to be honest you know if you can't really come and have a adult conversation with me then i really don't care how you feel or what you think you know the people who have real conversations with me and really talk to me we connect on a different level you know what i mean like shout out to exotics shout out to d carter Shout out to Krista Renee. Shout out to Sick With It. Shout out to uh, J JB Tundra. Shout out to, I don't wanna miss any names. There's a lot of y'all. Um, shout out to, uh, fuck, Lil Rams. Shout out to, uh, man, there's a lot of y'all, bro. There's a lot of y'all that really fuck with me and I love y'all for that. Y'all really fuck with me. And I fuck with y'all the same way. Anybody that support me, you got my support in return. You don't have to question it. You don't have to question it. When y'all drop new music, I listen. Because when I drop my music, y'all listen. So, I'm, I'm look. You got to give to get. You feel me? You can't just be the receiver all the time. You got to be the giver sometimes. So, you know, y'all watch my videos. Y'all subscribe. Y'all share my content. Y'all share my music. Y'all shout me out on Instagram. Y'all follow me on Instagram. You know, uh, y'all send me beats. Y'all did songs with me. Y'all, you know what I mean? Like, I don't take it for granted. There was a point in time where niggas only reached out to me to, you know, get something from me or... They wanted me to, you know, uh, work with them, but niggas wasn't into building relationships. It was just always about the money. Like, if you jump in my inbox and you like, yo, I sell beats for this price. It's like, I make beats myself. I'm not really that interested. I'm just keeping 100 with you. I'm not really interested. But if you build a relationship with me and I get to know you, for who you are and we connect on a you know a, a different level then i'm more open to working with you i don't just work with everybody just because i make my own beats why would i give you 300 dollars for a couple beats when i could just sit here and make beats for myself and pay zero dollars i don't 
what's the point? There's no point. I'm into building relationships. I wanna build with people. I wanna, you know, I want us to help each other get to the next level. If we just, if, if our relationship is just me sending you money for beats over and over and over again, what am I getting out of the deal? Nothing. You, you, you. Relationships about being equal. What do you have to gain and what do I have to gain? You know, a lot of times people go into situations and they only gain from it, right? And then they wonder why the other person is hesitant. It's cause like, what do I gain out of it? I don't gain much of anything. So why should I agree to this? Why should I do this? What do we gain? What am I gaining from this, right? So like, if someone hits me up, you got, you know, I'm not really into numbers. I don't really care about numbers. If you make good music, you make good music. But just for the example, if you hit me up and you got 20 subscribers, right? You make beats, you got 20 subscribers. Obviously you're not getting that much traction. You got 20 subscribers, I mean, you know, you ain't really, obviously you ain't putting too much work yet. But you want to sell me a beat, right? You're like, yo, I wanna work with you. I sell beats for this price, boom, 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 boom. Now this is not about me getting stuff for free because people who work with me know I don't mind paying. If I really like the beat, I will pay for it. I'm not, that's not the problem. But what I'm saying is, if you got 20 subscribers, I got almost 3,000. So potentially 3,000 people might see when I post this song with your beat, right? Now we know the algorithm is crazy, so all my subscribers might not see it. Nine times out of ten, they won't. But for the most part, we talking about potentially, right? So potentially, two thousand and seven hundred people might see this. You got twenty subscribers, right? I pay you for this beat, right? First of all, I didn't even reach out to you. You reached out to me, and then you offer me a beat, but I gotta pay for it. I pay for the beat. I do the song. You also want to be credited. I credit you. Right, for making the beat. You gain subscribers, you gain potential new customers, and you also got money from me. What did I get? Exactly, this is my point. When, you, when you're doing business, you gotta make it equal. You gotta make it a level, play, a level playing field. So if you're reaching out to someone who is bigger than you, Right? Say you're a producer, you're re reaching out to an artist who is bigger than you at that current time. Giving them a free beat is not the worst thing. Because then, you kind of level in the playing field. It's like, okay, I'll give you this beat for free. Because I know I'm going to potentially gain some exposure from you just fucking with me. So I'll give you this shit for free. You know what I mean? And that's kind of how you, you got to make it equal. Like, if I'm paying you, then I'm doing the song and I'm crediting you so you getting like I said you getting my money off the top you getting potential new fans and potential new customers what did I get I, I didn't get anything I got a beat that I paid for it so I didn't get nothing but like I said bro like, I don't want to go on for too long I just be needing to have these conversations um but yeah yeah, man, like I said, I started off with the story time and then I kind of just went on and rambled a little bit. But, uh, yeah, man, we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep going strong. Y'all know what's going on. It's your boy, King Buzz, and I'm out of here. Yeah. If dream team never pop, then they fall on me. Call my team to the huddle, we gon' going ball on three. I'm the go-to guy, so they call on me. Shit easy. What's pressure when you're from the bottom?